when do you actually work is the question I'm being asked all the time. I never stop is the short answer. When looking at my Instagram, it seems as if I'm living a life with no obligations. Constantly kite surfing, surfing, mountain biking or traveling. And generally doing stuff that's not work. But it is, I've just managed to turn things that I enjoy into a job. The trouble is that neither me nor anyone else shows the backstage to this whole social media show. You start the day as early as you can to get that coffee in and fuel up for the long day ahead and get some work done until your head is still fresh and you can focus on things, especially for people like me with ADHD. And weirdly enough, coffee for us is actually calming us down. And yeah, grabbing a, a session midday is pure gold. But then there's plenty of work that goes behind it to make it all stick. Hundreds of hours of planning the trips that looked so chilled later on Facebook or Instagram. Making sure that no one dies, that everyone gets on and off the plane and the right plane ideally and they come back with most of the limbs attached. The endless battles with lessons, with the forecast, with students, the general public and actually wind not showing up on the day when you turn up to the spot. The endless apologies for things that are absolutely out of your control. Pulling late nights and thinking that you should squeeze in another 30 minutes because it's only 1.30am, feeling guilty going to bed. And then ending up in bed, scrolling endlessly on your phone because you can't sleep due to anxieties connected to your work. It all comes down to the choice of priorities. I don't mind the above for the freedom to enjoy life. Not asking for holidays, not having my boss time, my lunch break. It does come at a cost though. When looking at other people's socials, we generally don't recognize them as someone who might be struggling with well, anything. There's a nice car, nice house, always smiling family, nothing can go wrong, right? But here's the catch, they think exactly the same thing about you. Or did you post about that time when your mortgage tripled and you thought you are gonna lose your house? Or the time when you absolutely flipped out and lost your shit with your kids and almost punched a hole in the wall? Or about those anti-anxiety pills you're popping because you can't cope with reality? Or when you lost a job and you posted, oh, you know what, I'm now open to the new possibilities and everyone were so fucking supportive and giving you thumbs up. Well, of course not. Everyone seems to be so happy all the time. So why wouldn't you? There's this bullshit loop of happiness. You can't be unhappy because that would make you lesser than everyone else. So you post about your super happy moments even when you're depressed. It seems like your life is flowers and rainbows all the time. Others pick up on that and they do exactly the same thing. And then everyone ends up miserable because they think they're alive isn't as good as everybody else's around them. And they have to be the problem, they have to suck. Because why is everybody so stoked with everything where I'm struggling? The truth is that we're all struggling, we just don't show it. And man, if I wouldn't rely on social media so heavily to drive my business, I would happily delete my Facebook and Instagram accounts in a heartbeat. It's an absolutely toxic place. Yeah, I know I'm a part of the problem. I am selling a lifestyle, but I absolutely love the things I do. And I appreciate it takes time to get to this level where you can fully enjoy them by the way of learning and going through the struggles of gaining new knowledge and taking the hits. But no one's gonna join our ranks on the water or in the mountains when we'll show all our injuries, the ripped shoulders, destroyed knees, the months of physiotherapy. You project the end effect, you're showing how awesome it is once you learn how to do this stuff. My point is, don't measure your life through the lens of social media. It's all fake and it's all doctored. It's a game of pretend, it's a game of living the best life all the time. Game of makeups, of finding an angle that shows a little bit less fat than you actually have. A game of smiles and I'm alright. And if you're really unhappy with your life, go and change it because there's no point in your life where you can't pivot. Only death is irreversible and that's coming to all of us. So if you think that a change in your life is gonna make you happy, freaking go for it. So no, I'm not saying quit all the social media and cut your social ties with people. Just make sure you take everything with a pinch of salt because, well, we're all sugarcoating our lives. So go on and have an awesome day. Or fake it because I still can't surf. But still post about it because otherwise it's not gonna count.